The rapidly changing payment sphere provides a wealth of opportunity. Barclays was an early supporter of the fintech sector and remains at the forefront of fintech and payments developments. Yeah, and to look at this in more detail, we are joined right now by Phil Bowkley, Global Head of International Corporate Banking at Barclays. Welcome, Phil. Cybos, it's uh, all about connecting the future of finance. And so what does the future of finance mean to you and what does it mean to the clients at Barclays? So I think, um, you know, the, the revolution in payments, I think, is, is unprecedented. I think the acceleration, particularly in cross-border payments, um, you know, seamless, instant cross-border, cross-currency payments is going to be seismic in terms of the implications for the industry, but I think also for our underlying clients as well. Phil, can I tell us more about how you, uh, you prioritise and make strategic choices aligned with those, uh, with those clients and their needs? Yeah, so I think, um, I mean, first of all, I think some of the things that we're certainly talking about at, at Cybos with our clients and um, with other financial institutions and fintechs is, you know, industry trends like um, APIs, ISO 2022, um, you know, increased regulation, which is facing the industry, the use of data in the industry, creation of instant data. Um, and I think, um, you know, we're, one of the things we're doing is really, trying to work with our clients to really understand how they're thinking about these things, um, you know, what it means for them, for their business, for their underlying, um, for their underlying client base as well. Um, and, you know, areas that we're talking to clients about yeah. are their need for everything to be digitized, um, had to be able to connect with clients seamlessly um, and, and easily, I think through, through the channels of their choice, not just the channels that the bank chooses. Um, I think data, data, instant data, um, transparency, uh, I think how they manage increased regulation, um, fraud detection, cybersecurity. So all of these things are things that we're thinking about um, and how we work with our clients to provide them with solutions. And, and your clients are really around the world and, and that must mean expanding the global franchise across the US, Europe and the Asia Pacific. Can you tell us more? Yes, yeah, so look, Barclays is, um, UK is our home market. We're definitely a market leader there. Uh, we're in a nice position of being number one for GBP clearing for FIs and fintechs. Um, we have an expanding business in, Euro in Western Europe. We're a top 10 euro clearer in Europe. Um, but we're really, we're investing in our platforms internationally where our investment banking and our international corporate clients are. So we continue to invest in the UK and digitize that business. Um, we're investing in our Western European franchise and looking to do more with our clients in Western Europe. Mm -hmm. um, we've already been successful. Um, we're a couple of years into building out our capabilities in the US from a corporate banking perspective. Uh, we have a very strong investment banking markets business there. Um, and then Asia as well. We were in Asia at the moment and Asia is going to be um, what is an important region for us. Um, we have platforms in India, we have the Middle East, which we include in our Asia business as well. Um, but we're going to look to do more in Asia with our clients, um, with our in investment banking and international corporate clients in Asia. Now, Barclays has supported the global uh, fintech sector throughout the cycle. You're investing in the transactional banking product architecture whilst continuing to refine your business appetite as regulations and business models continue to rapidly evolve. Why is this such an important area to focus on for you and the, the ICB business? Like, yeah, so look, I think the fintech and particularly the reg regulated payments businesses, we've been a key partner for that business, certainly in the UK and increasingly in Europe for some time. Um, we selected to focus on that business a number of years ago because we saw the trends that were happening in the payments market. Um, and whilst we felt that, you know, banks could provide very strong wholesale solutions to those to, to, to the fintech sector. We also recognize that fintech was actually mm. you know, very innovative, yep. um, very good at reducing some of the friction and some of the sort of more traditional payments models. Um, and increasingly, we felt we're going to be very important to the growth of the economy yep. and providing um, yeah, innovative solutions to the, to the industry and to the underlying clients. So we made the decision that we wanted to partner with the industry. Um, that's been a great success for us. Um, you have to manage the risk very carefully. Yeah. Um, the regulator environment in that sector um, and for banks is increasing. So we choose who we partner with very carefully. 
Um, but, you know, we, we feel that actually we've got a unique franchise. We're looking to do more with those types of businesses in the UAE and India, where we also are investing in our capabilities. And we see it very much as a partnership. So, yeah, I think it's no secret, right, that banks, um, whilst they're trying to innovate and invest more in their payments and transaction banking proposition, we also have a lot of legacy infrastructure, typically. Um, 80% of our, it was for some, some um, banks, up to 80% of their investment budget goes into regulatory and those sorts of um, those sort of costs. So actually, we're working more with the industry looking at, you know, where do we have core capabilities that we need to invest in, but also how can we work with the industry to innovate and actually partner with some of these fintechs to provide you know, new and innovative solutions to our underlying client base as well. Yeah, I want to pick up on that because that's really interesting what you mentioned. You touched on this a little bit, but what is so different about this industry vertical compared to more of the mature industry you know, segments that you already cover? Yeah, so I think, look, the industry, the, the fintech businesses by their nature change very quickly. And actually, I think the background to the industry has changed a lot. I think, you know, the, the supply of capital to the sector is not what it used to be. I think um, that's going to drive some consolidation in the sector, um, which I think we have a very strong investment banking cl- franchise across fintech as well, particularly in the UK, Europe and US. So I think we see opportunities there to sort of work, work with, with, with the sector as it consolidates. Um, but I think also, you know, the, the working with these clients to manage risk, to make sure that we're managing the risk for our underlying cl- or with our underlying clients as well. Um, I think providing innovative solutions. I think some of these clients challenge us as well in terms of how quickly, you know, as a tradition, more traditional bank, we can um, accelerate and deliver solutions. So I think, you know, we learn a lot from the sector as well. Yeah. And of course, we're in Beijing this year. Let's pull focus to Asia. What growth opportunities are Barclays seeing uh, there at the moment? And how are, his, how are Barclays sort of responding to those opportunities? Yeah, I mean, look, it's great to see, um, see Cybos back in Asia. Um, I think first time in Beijing. So I think, you know, that's an indication, right, of how important the industry sees the region. Um, yeah, APAC is 50% plus of the world's GDP. Uh, it's fast growing region. Um, from a corporate investment banking standpoint, I think we see that growth in the region continuing out to 2027 and beyond. Um, so, you know, it's an exciting region for us and we support our clients in a couple of ways. So we support some of our Asian clients in terms of how they expand out of the region and go cross border. Um, Obviously, as I said, you know, we're a key partner for some of these clients in the UK, increasingly in Europe and other jurisdictions. But I think also we're looking to invest and to be more relevant for our clients in the region as well, Um, you know, as they start to expand or, um, you know, do more in the region, which I think is inevitable as well. From Asia Pacific to the world, and then back here again. Exactly. Phil Bowkley. Thank you. It was so great to see you here. Thank you so much. And get back to networking. I know, right. I know we're Thank getting... you very much. All right, Phil. Thank you so much. That was Phil Bowkley, Global Head of International Corporate Banking at Barclays.